I worked at a men's magazine, the only place I ever wanted to work. I loved it there. I was an editorial assistant, then a news assistant. Hey, you're taking notes, right? Yeah. All I wanted was to be a writer, with my stories up there. To write those stories seemed to me to be the closest approximation of actually living. Or more specifically, what I wanted was to be Archer Sylvan, our most marquee writer who wrote bombastic, wild stories that stopped the world for a week after they were published. Archer spanned the globe, digging up unbelievable characters and telling a story that felt like you were being gripped by the lapels and shouted at. Of course, The Heart is a Lonely Dinner was his most famous story. It won the National Magazine Award the year it was published and was a Pulitzer finalist. My favorite of his books, Decoupling, was a National Book Award winning scandal. A gonzo account of a year in the life of a divorced man in 1979. Like one, huh? okay, good. As the years went on though, Archer, who had once been everyone's delight, became the subject of ever more controversy. Well, what would you say to people who thought that only showing one side of the divorce gave women short shrift? <laughs> I mean, come on, Jake, have you ever asked a woman what her divorce was like? How do you mean? <laughs> I don't get the joke. All right, well, I'm saying it's the same old thing, the same story. Uh, he did me wrong, he cheated on me, he doesn't respect me. I'm tired of that story. I wanted to write the story of a person's soul. So a woman doesn't have a soul. I didn't say that. I'm saying that you can't get to the truth of a thing if you ask her. So women don't tell the truth. Now, see, this is what critics take issue with about you, Archer. You wrote about a man's divorce, taking his word for everything, never interviewed the woman to verify anything. It's not the same thing. Well, they're reissuing the book, Jake. That's got to count for something. <laughs> Some of the lines that were now considered unspeakable were edited out of later editions, but they didn't fix its iconic last line. The bitch will try to get you every time. But I didn't care. I forgave anything that was as exciting and angry and urgent as this. <laughs> Archer. Hey. I work, uh, I work at the magazine. I've never seen you there. Oh, well, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of yours. <laughs> I had to just come and hear you, see you, see you speak. Mm. That piece that you wrote about the fountain of youth in the Andes, that story it completely changed my life when I read it. It was, um... What's your name? Libby Slater. Here you go. Thank you. Hey. But, Thank <laughs> you.